A young patient with a known history of asthma came to me with persistent cough, recurrent episode of wheezing and brownish sputum plugs. Despite using inhalers regularly, she said her symptoms were getting worse over the last few weeks. Clinically, she was not improving the way a typical asthma patient should. That was my first clue that something else was going on. On examination, she had diffuse wheeze and her symptoms were way out of proportion to her usual asthma pattern. So this mismatch between asthma severity and response to treatment guided me to think about ABPA. So to evaluate further, I ordered a few key investigations. Total IgE levels, they came back very high, above 1000 international unit per ml, which strongly pointed towards ABPA. As per Jira specific IgE and IgG, both were elevated, confirming sensitization. Peripheral eosinophil count increased. Chest imaging, like her CT scan showed, central bronchiectasis were one of the classic feature of ABPA. So putting everything together, asthma, very high IgE, positive aspergilla specific antibodies, eosinophilia and central bronchiectasis, the diagnosis was quite clear, allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. Now regarding management part, so the main aim is to control allergic inflammation and prevent lung damage. I started her on oral corticosteroids, which is the cornerstone of treatment. In some patients, we also add atraponazole and antifungal medication to reduce fungal burden and steroid requirements. Meanwhile, asthma therapy must continue as usual with inhaled bronchodilators and inhaled corticosteroids. And here are the key teaching points. Number one, think of ABPA in any asthma patient who is not responding to standard therapy. Number two, very high total IgE is one of the strongest clue. Number three, look for central bronchiectasis on imaging. It's a hallmark. Number four, early diagnosis prevent irreversible lung damage. And always remember, ABPA is an allergic inflammatory condition, not an active fungal infection. So that's how we diagnose and manage ABPA in this patient. And these are the clinical pulse every clinician should keep in mind. Thank you.